Hello, Beach Channel viewers. Welcome to Food Chat, South Florida Food Chat. <laughs> and I'm here with uh, Bill Archer from... The Big Cheese Restaurant. Everybody knows the Big Cheese. <laughs> we hope so. That's one of the reasons we're out here doing this today. We want to bring this to Miami Beach. So where, where is the current location? Current location is on Southwest 67th Avenue and South Dixie Highway which is just a little south of the city of South Miami on US-1. So there's an old saying that if you want to find good pizza, follow the college kids. And at your place, I see a lot of UM college kids there. We serve a lot of UM college kids. We're also um, uh, official sponsors for University of Miami Athletics. We feed football, baseball, basketball. Uh, we're also official vendors for the University of Miami. That so started, uh, quickly say, when... 1984, Mel Bratton and Alonzo Highsmith came in. We'd only been open three months. We were across the street where Wall's Ice Cream is now. And um, I didn't know who they were. I'd been in San Francisco working at a place called Dario's from 78 to 83. But I knew they were important. We made them, uh, they requested some carbohydrates and that led to a, uh, put their picture on the wall. People were so fascinated with it. That led to a whole relationship with the University of Miami Athletics that's still uh, alive and strong today. Yeah, they had some very good football teams back then. Eh? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah. So how much does it, how much pizza does a football team eat? Well, it's funny you ask that question. A typical order for University of Miami football, and remember Mario Cristobal, I had the uh, the pleasure of feeding him as a player, uh, hosting his uh, bachelor party when he got married. He's a good friend. But they will order 114 inch pizzas. That's uh, 800 slices. A thousand buffalo wings, seventeen pans of pasta, three hundred garlic rolls, and four or five pans of Caesar salad. Wow! They don't thousand, finish it all, but uh, a thousand wings. A thousand wow. wings. Oh, that's crazy! Well, that's that's very cool. Um, you're in South Miami right now, and you 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 had a location in the past down south, um, but it's back to South Miami, right? Yeah, we, we opened a location to to kind of assist a couple managers of ours that couldn't move up the chain in, in uh, 2008 in the city of Homestead. Uh, I always uh, like to point out that what happens at the Big Cheese restaurant, due to the crew, the history, uh, the timing, is it's a phenomenon in my opinion. I've worked in other restaurants. I've seen a lot of restaurants come and go. Uh, but it's what I call the magic. And we were not able to redo... Uh, reproduce that magic in the city of Homestead. Uh, there were economic conditions. Uh, being up here on the edge of Pinecrest and Coral Gables is an advantage for us. So we left Homestead in 2014, and, and I was very fortunate to be able to uh, go back to South Miami with my tail between my legs and kind of take it from there. Well, the, the staff in your South Miami place, some of the waiters and I've been going there 20 years, same faces. Yeah, we average 25 years as far as uh, time spent with us with staff. We have the very little turnover that we do experience is, is usually some hostessing or takeout. Uh, but a lot of people uh, have to give a, a, a large salute to the Latin community, the Nicaraguan community in particular, that run most of our kitchen. Uh, these guys work tirelessly, and there's really nothing um that you can throw at them that they they don't handle and they they don't complain although we we all act as a family all 72 of us uh we suffer when there's a, when there's a pain involved like a, a, one of our staff lost his wife uh last week the crew puts together money he gets paid for his time off and and uh we also celebrate the birthdays of each other and and other milestones there's been some marriages between servers and cooks at the Big Cheese that uh, now we're seeing those kids come in. And matter of fact, our, our night manager, Oliver, I, I met him when uh, his dad brought him in in a baby carrier. And now he's, wow. he's managing a kitchen. Well, it sounds like I got to get producer Debbie to go over there and look into a possible reality show. <laughs> Sounds like they're one what could happen over That's there, good especially idea with the romances and all. The, she likes those kind of kind of shows where there's romance and dating and all those types of things. <laughs> well, our viewers are going to get mad if we don't start talking about this food. So what are we looking at right now? I see pizza. Hmm. We see pizza on the screen, and and I would I would comment that 
uh, what the big cheese does, the philosophy of the big cheese, uh, and this has always been, my history goes back uh, exactly 50 years ago this year, I got my first job washing dishes, a place called Chicken Unlimited on Kendall and not Southwest 97th Avenue. Oh, I love that Avenue. place. Uh, but I quickly got out of there and went to a place called Perenni's Pizza in the early mid-70s that was the largest chain. It was before any chains like Domino's or Papa John's or such as that. And then having gone out to San Francisco after graduating Killian High School, I worked at a place called Dario's downtown San Francisco for five years. That was kind of like my college. But I came back with the, with the idea that if I ever got an opportunity, which Gary Duell gave me an opportunity, uh, I was working at the place, uh, it was called Poopsies. Long story short, we buy the very best ingredients that money can buy. And it doesn't matter, inflation, tough times, hard times, we don't get away from that. The other thing we do, I'll give you an example. We bring our, our flour as General Mills All Trump. It's only the Trump of the wheat. Uh, it's the very best flour money can buy. Uh, our tomatoes come from the San Joaquin Valley in Modesto, California. We use uh, Stanislaus plum tomatoes, and we also use a product called Bonto, which is uh, is the most the richest, most expensive uh, tomato you can buy. Uh, there's many different varieties you can buy. Our pasta is all imported from Italy. You can easily buy pasta a lot cheaper from Canada, but it won't match up. And I think that that could attribute to about a 20% increase in our sales in the last six months, mm -hmm. as other restaurants. Everybody has to raise prices, but they're cutting portions and quality in some cases. And it seems like we picked up quite an overflow from competitors. You all got great portions. Wow. The portions are large. Um, and I, uh, it's also uh, an advantage. A lot of customers know if they order, say, a spaghetti parmesan or a chicken francais, we also do uh, a nice saute dishes like fettuccine alfredo with grilled shrimp, uh, uh, we do a white clam sauce, chicken francais with the lemon butter wine sauce. I see a fettuccine alfredo with grilled chicken right there. Aha, uh -huh, I haven't uh, tried that one. That one looks pretty good, though. They are good, and you can always order a half. The half is not going to be on the menu, but it is available, and we're happy to serve it. Well, that's no fun. You get the full and then eat half and then take the other half home, right? <laughs> Some people find that very fun in a challenging time like we're experiencing with food costs being uh, in a hyperinflationary uh, period. Now, we had something else that just popped out. I see shrimp, I That's think. That's a grilled shrimp uh, pasta. You can have that with white sauce, which is a cream sauce with uh, beef bouillon uh, additive. Or you can have that with pink sauce, for example. Pink sauce is Alfredo sauce marrying a marinara sauce. Oh, I'd take the pink sauce. That Years ago, great. they would make pink sauce with tomato sauce and add some ricotta cheese. But some of us are aware that ricotta cheese has absolutely no taste. Uh, what we were able to do, uh, marrying marinara with Alfredo, was give it a nice... Uh, that's a pink sauce right there with a seafood pasta. Oh, what's this one? Seafood Mussels, pasta? Mussels, shrimps, and clams. Oh, you can okay. have that with fettuccine, spaghetti. We also have um, uh, linguine, uh, ziti, and uh, any of those pastas are available when you order. We try to... We try to... It's not... Uh, have a, it's have it your way at the big cheese. I love your takeout things the aluminum kind of things they hold up well with the little plastic lid those are that. party platters uh, yeah. are you talking about our regular dishes or the big ones the regular when i get the zd or something else it comes with the in the aluminum yeah yeah when I, for takeout and stuff and it also comes with garlic rolls um ah the garlic rolls and that's oh, another yeah. thing we do we, with the big I, cheese i, I we, think uh, i saw those up there were oh there they are there's the garlic rolls now when you eat inside the restaurant of which we have about 120 seats. We have outdoor dining uh, as well as indoor dining. We also have what we call the Godfather room all the way in the back. That 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 term came from Gary Duell. Uh, I've never it, been in there. Does that mean it's reserved for VIPs? Originally, it was built because we always had requests when we were across the street our first seven years for private parties. So it was originally built for that idea, but uh, too full for the response parties. that we've received. We just made it part of the dining room. Although occasionally, if someone needs a reservation for 20, 25 people at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, not 7 o'clock at night, we can accommodate them with the Godfather. Go back to the, the garlic rolls again. So I got a question. They always ask me when they're serving, do you want the garlic on the side? 
What's wrong with people who go, who order with the garlic on the side? <laughs> well, you gotta remember some people are, are 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 there on a lunch break. They're professional people, maybe doctors, lawyers, or Indian chiefs. But um, that garlic will tend to stick with you for a little while. Oh, I love we it. We do offer what's called starlight mince up at the counter. Um, but once again, this is our pizza dough that we make fresh on premises every day, every night. We're making constantly making dough. These rolls are cut into little strips. We do it in the morning. We'll make anywhere between 12 and 2,600 rolls every morning. We let them rise next to the oven, and then we bake them. We pretty much bake them about 70% of the way, and then we put them back in. These are finished garlic rolls you see here. The garlic sauce is a combination of raw garlic, which we go through over 400 pounds a week of raw garlic, um, Parmesan cheese, parsley, olive oil, and vegetable oil. Yeah, those those garlic rolls, those things, I could eat 20 of them. We don't put salt, but good. if you add salt, they're even better, in my opinion. All right, so what are we looking at here? I see fried stuff now. I didn't even know you all had fried stuff. No, we do fried. Uh, our menu, we try to appeal to, to everyone from, from infants or children with our kids' menu. This is a fried shrimp platter. comes with French fries, uh, uh, fried shrimp, of which we buy a butterfly fried shrimp. That's to basically have something for everybody. Uh, and I've noticed in the restaurant, families can come in, dad's having one thing. You don't even have to necessarily eat Italian at the Big Cheese. We do offer, uh, we do a fried chicken uh, basket like that also. It's chicken fingers with French fries. We have a real excellent honey mustard sauce. Uh, that's uh, Big Cheese buffalo wings right oh, there. Oh, the wings are very good. Now, that but, has the hot sauce on the side with blue cheese on the side. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, my father would kick me if I ordered non-Italian from Italian restaurant. Well, that's when you were growing up. Things have come around since then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> those just, wings are very I'm good. I've tried you, those. Those are excellent. What we do with the wings and... and um, you know, I've, I've also had a tremendous chance to learn uh, at the Big Cheese restaurant early on. This is our 40th year in business, 2024. But I can remember early on, I, I didn't really know much about buffalo wings. I was a pizza man in California. I worked for some Greek and Italian guys that taught me some of the back of the house, like uh, lasagna and eggplant parmesan. And what making... do Greek guys know about eggplant parmesan and uh, lasagna? Glad you mentioned that because uh, we, uh, we make a meat lasagna. If you order a uh, party platters, for instance, we can make it with cheese, meat, or vegetarian. A party platter is a giant pan of lasagna that feed about 26 is that it there? people. Is it, what do we have up there? Is that lasagna on the right? That's a, egg, that looks like an, that's an eggplant parmesan. Oh, eggplant uh, parmesan. And that's I spaghetti like that. and tomato sauce that accompanies it. Mm. Uh, we also do a stuffed eggplant. We, we take ricotta cheese. Remember, it's tasteless. So we add garlic, we add black pepper, we add a few more spices. And we roll, we roll that up in pieces of eggplant that we slice and fry on the premises. Nothing comes in a box anymore. I go back to the wings. In the early days, we'd buy frozen wings, throw them in a the fryer. And I, they were just, you know, like, these, you know, you can get these anywhere, right? So uh, eventually we started ordering what's called a jumbo wing. And we ordered it raw. Uh, we rinse them and, and then we par bake them. We marinate them overnight. We par bake them and then we pull them out. Uh, they're just about done when they come out of the oven, and we drop them in the fryer real quick when they're ordered. We do that by the order, or you can get a pan of wings. Yeah, you know what I like about your place? A lot of places, they run out of wings. I've never gone to your place and say, I want 10 wings. They go, oh, sorry, we're out of them. That kind of goes to the pride of this crew. Um, this crew is, is uh, one of the most, I've seen a lot of crews. And remember, this comes after many years of picking the winners. Uh, but this crew is so together, they take such pride in their work. And we share with them in, in the profits and the success of the business. But they will they generally will never run out of anything. Because if you run out of anything, that means you didn't order enough or you were too lazy to keep it going. And that's just you know, my experience. Yeah, it runs through a lot. And uh, they're, they're quite well, amazing. Speaking group. of lazy, when I'm lazy, I want a pepperoni pizza. And I see pepperoni pizza up there. And I could eat that whole thing. That's a pepperoni pizza. And I'm glad you have that picture as well. Because we used, uh, we used a product... Um, uh, from, a, from a company named Hormel for many years. And I was never real impressed with it. The pepperoni was good, but there wasn't a lot out there. Like in the early days, there was a small company called Patrick Cuddy that made a kind of a unique pepperoni. But in the last uh, year, this, there's been a new pepperoni come out, and it's called Cup and Char. It basically cups 
and, and chars on the edge. And when you char pepperoni, it tends to taste like bacon. If you actually oh, yeah. burn it to the point that it breaks in half, it tastes just like bacon. You Might have bacon. something to do, they come from the same animal, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> yep. I remember uh, visiting a place, they talked about uh, the use of pigs and stuff. And on this side at the butcher shop, it said, the only part of the pig we don't use is the smile. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I guess that's true in the, in the food business. Now, what is this? This looks like a healthy pizza. Is that possible? That's a big cheese supreme uh, that has absolutely everything. Basically, you have, you know, in the old, in the old days, you had a, a, a vegetarian pizza. And you had a deluxe pizza. The deluxe pizza had five toppings, pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, onions, and bell peppers. Uh, what we did, we take it a step further now with a supreme pepperoni, mushroom, onions, bell peppers, black olives, tomatoes. Uh, that particular one has some... Uh, some kind of lettuce or what is that? That would be oregano. No, I'm right. sorry, parsley. Is parsley. Some, uh, okay. some parsley uh, on the top. Well, that, you said seven, and I'd see at least 10 or 12 yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving out ham <laughs> and meatballs. Okay. It's basically everything we can pile on it. The uh, the vegetarian. Uh, and what's that one called? That's called the Supreme, the Big Cheese oh, Supreme. Oh, i got to get that. Then we have the Big Cheese California Veggie Max. And you say, where did you, you, know, where did you come up with that? Well, that's a Veggie vegetarian. Veggie Max, I like that name. And then you're adding... Uh, things like artichoke hearts, uh, fresh tomato slices, garlic goes on last. You know, garlic can raw garlic, which we use uh, generously, uh, making all our sauces, and it goes on last on a pizza. Actually, above extra cheese or anything like that else, because the top heat in the pizza oven will char that garlic and give it just a really light up a pizza if you if you like that. Well, I see something toasted here. What is that? That looks like a sausage sub or possibly an eggplant parmesan. We make uh, 16 or 18 different kinds of foot-long sub sandwiches. You do? I didn't know. Yeah, yeah you can order All these years, half, I didn't know. Half That half is six inches long. Uh -huh. We do a Philly cheese steak. Uh, you know, the cheese is kind of hiding things under there. That looks like a meatball sub. Uh, we do a Philly cheese steak where we grill uh, top round, which is, which is prime top round. It's Angus top round. Once right. again, we don't, we buy the best money can buy and it, just so happens it's always the most expensive and and we we grill that with onions and mushroom and again raw garlic and oil on our grill makes a great philly cheese what's steak. wrong with the person who orders it half though if you're going to order that you got to get the full foot long now <laughs> you know <laughs> actually it, it's more economical to order the whole foot long but a lot of people they're coming in for lunch our money through friday lunch business is very commercial people that live in that area it's a wonderful location, again, because after 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, it turns into a residential market. So you're able to do business uh, seven days and seven nights a week, which anything that benefits the company benefits the crew. And again, uh, myself and Gary Duell. Yeah. Now, dessert, I see cheesecake or something there. Tell me about this. Do you all make this thing or do you That's order this? That's a strawberry this cheesecake. And I must confess, I don't know how to make cheesecake. I never learned how to make cheesecake. But I did learn how to find the best uh, product outside of the restaurant. That's one of the few things we bring in. We mix up the strawberries and puree, uh, but we have a very upscale. Uh, it's actually an upscale restaurant uh, bakery in Hollywood, Florida. No, I won't release the name, but they deliver our desserts very, very. And, and I'll tell you how I decide. I eat it. And if I love it, then we buy it. And even though, like I say, and that's a tiramisu. Now we can always put. Uh, Is this we, from the same place? Yeah, all our oh, desserts, okay. all our desserts are from the same place. Uh, we don't sell ice cream. We're very fortunate to have Walt's ice cream directly across the street, which creates a nice family circuit. You can come to the Big Cheese, go over to Walls, and have a nice uh, ice cream. That's a cannoli. We bring those shells from New York. We buy this incredibly rich cream and we fill it. We make those at the Big Cheese. We do buy the shells. That's cheating a little bit. And then you have a. Uh, pieces of uh, chocolate, chocolate syrup, and white powdered sugar uh, to complement. Folks from New York are usually quite surprised uh, that we can make a good cannoli in South Florida. We do buy that cream from their home state. We're though. seeing a lot more of those folks, aren't we? Those New York you know, folks. No, Miami's always been kind of, I've considered a suburb of New York, uh, but it also, I'm, I'm always thrilled when people from New York or New Jersey tell me, we didn't really think we could get real Italian food here. Um, 
And that goes back to buying the very best ingredients, um, not, not wincing at price or trying to save a dime over here. And uh, our philosophy, uh, I have to add, as I mentioned, other restaurants and us having to raise price, that's our only option. We do not cut portions. We do not cut quality. People uh, seems to be coming to light how, how much that's appreciated in, in the community these days. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to hope that the, the University of Miami Hurricane football builds up their quality to keep it the same as ever <laughs> because we've yeah. kind of been kind of disappointed the last few years now. Well, yeah, I've, 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 I've been involved in Miami Hurricane football. As a matter of fact, Larry Coker gave me this ring. This is a 2001 National Championship he ring. He's a very nice man. A very nice man. And uh, he always said, Bill, if we win a national championship, uh, you know, I'm going to give you a ring. I, I won't disclose exactly what I did to, to get that kind of special treatment. But uh, I think we have to have faith. Uh, we have to have faith in Mario Cristobal. His heart's certainly in the right place. They got a great group of kids out there this year. If you recall, Mario dismissed almost all the players when he came on, uh, and he's brought in new recruits, and, and I'm behind him. I'm also uh, with very pizzas. Much, You're huh? behind him with pizzas. Behind him and, and, and wings and all yeah. that stuff. Actually, we're delivering. Well, Bill, uh, I mean, we're running out of time here, but this was fantastic. I love hearing about more about it. I've been going to your place for many, many years, and I didn't know a lot of this stuff. I know a lot more, and I saw a few more things on the menu that I know I'm going to try. And uh, not the half foot long. I'm going the full foot longs okay. when I go there on those sandwiches and all. Beach Channel viewers, thank you for watching South Florida Food Chat. Bill, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Matt.